I'm Jamie Lynn. Yay! And you're the audience. Yay! And it's June. Wait, that was my line. Yay! It's really June. And, um, yay? Here's your letter. Dear Wrestle Violators, your webpage this Saturday, July 25th, is your next show. Is this a typo? As July 25th is not a Saturday, and should that read June? Signed, Breathless. Well, if you're too dumb to figure it out and get here, then you're not here. Yay! That was Ed's fault. Way to go, Ed. Nice, Ed! Thanks a lot! Yeah, thanks a lot, Ed! Fuck you! Fuck you, Ed! Thanks! Sincerely, the Vestal Violet. Wait, read me. Huh? Read me. That was too short. Who are you? I'm a talking letter. Read me. Okay, really? Talking let? Why would I read you if you're a talking letter? Um. Good point. Listen to me. Dear Vestal Violators, I am the mayor of a great city. My problem is, I'm horribly addicted to cocaine and I think my constituents know. What should I do about this? I don't feel it's prudent to sign my proper name, so therefore, let me say, your friend, Mayor Pat Bryan. Well, Matthew, there's a few things that I would do if I was a cokehead and a mayor at the same time. There's ways to hide your addiction, like tighter security. Yay! <laughs> Anthrax. Anthrax. Yup, you're not it. National security. Oh, okay. What about that one? The anthrax. Ah! Oh. And this one? The oh, whole so anthrax. Oh dear. National security. Anthrax. Anthrax. When that doesn't work, divert attention from yourself. Look! Daryl Strawberry! Where? Look! Something else! But let's get practical, Pat Bryan. Imagine you were the mayor of, say... Schmingumton. No use hiding it. People will just assume you're addicted to coke. It is Schmingumton. Maybe your problem isn't that people will know. It's that you're just addicted to cocaine. Try some alternatives. She's almost as good as cum! Fresh fruit! <laughs> Internet addiction. <laughs> mm. Of course people won't point out your problem if you share it with them first. You want some coke? What I? <laughs> Oh. Must have been the anthrax. <laughs> but by far, the most effective way of keeping people from knowing about your addiction is hiding it. Try somewhere like, um, plain sight. Nothing to see here, folks. Normal day at the mayor's office where you're not seeing anything. Might as well be blind. Not just a normal, regular, nothing even to look at. No entertainment, paint, nothing, just looking at the... Elevator, that's what you should be looking at. So you know where to get on when you go in the elevator. Yep, normal day, nothing to look at. Go to your office, right straight to the office. Otherwise, it's wasting time on my clock. Where they'd never expect. He's hiding here somewhere. I can smell it. Hide it in something else. The copy today is <laughs> Be good. We're really, really good. We got this flavored creamer. Do you want them? You can have some of mine. Do you want them? Well, I hope my ideas help. Sincerely yours. No! Wait! You're missing the point. What do you mean, talking letter? 
you've dealt with the serious problem of drug addiction glibly. Well, that's because most people have noses oh. and not gum addiction. You know, cocaine addiction is awesome! Um, you've got a really terrible problem. I know! <laughs> it's awesome! Can I have some? Yay! So remember, the most important thing is cocaine is illegal and nobody is above the law. Except the mayor! So just order someone to make a cocaine machine that's in, in, in the most cocaine in the world! Please, 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 please! Sincerely, the Vessel Violators. Bye, everybody! Ha have you been talking because I've been doing coke the whole time? Yes! Yay!